Hi everyone. So today I uh, I have an unboxing. Uh, very very excited to get this box. This uh, box is from Cashew Bert, and for people living more in Europe, this was one of the only places that I could find with vegan cheese cultures. Why do you need vegan cheese cultures? Uh, in my kind of most recent trip to France, I don't know if I published that video yet, uh, but I got the opportunity to try some vegan cheeses, but not the way that, you know, like normal vegans put it with like nutritional yeast and like lemon juice and whatever, whatever. Um, they actually age their cheese very much like normal cheese, but they just use, you know, nut milks or non-dairy milks instead. And oh boy, was it, it was a very weird experience because some of these cheeses were like moldy. There were like black, there was like black mold around it. Some of it was like blue cheese. So uh, I think it was definitely uh, for the French taste or, or for people who really like stronger cheeses. Uh, but I thought that I would give it a go on my own. I'm not really sure how it will turn out because I've, I've tried things like this before with like different fermenters and different starters and sometimes it just gets super gross and super moldy. But I thought that I would do this unboxing with you guys in case of all of the cheese goes wrong. At least we'd still have a video uh, here. So like I mentioned, Cashew Bert is I think like one of the only places that I found let's see, in Europe that carries vegan cheese cultures. So their site is actually pretty cool because not only do they sell like these vegan cheese cultures, but they also like they hold workshops as well. So they're very much like an educator of how to make uh, vegan cheeses and they have like books and stuff and they'll sell vegan cheeses on their store. But this one that I got here, I think it's one of these starter kits. So they have like, if you wanted to make like camembert, if you wanted to make blue cheese, you can buy the individual starter cultures for those. Um, but I think this one, it, so this one that I have here is the vegan cheese starter kit. I'm so excited. Uh, what it's supposed to have inside, I will, I will do the unboxing, but what it's supposed to have inside is uh, this kit, uh, it can make up to 60 cheeses, and this kit contains two cheese mats, two cheese cloths, two forms of camembert without press lid. Not sure what that is. 25 sheets of camembert paper. That's the paper that you wrap the cheese around once it's like dried a little bit. Uh, 40 sheets of ripening wrap. One tube of the penicillium candidum. And I know that this is for, I forgot what cheese this is for because I read into all of this. Uh, one tube of the penicillium roqueforti for our Roquefort cheese. Uh, two tubes of the mesophilic starter culture in powder form. So um, yeah, okay, let's, <laughs> let's get to the unboxing. Um, okay, so looking in here. Uh, it starts off with this, uh, you get this really cute cashew bear sticker. Uh, let's see, it is a German company. So I'll tell you about their online shop, a little bit like this. Um, that's really pretty. And then, oh, okay. Ooh, it's so pretty. Everything's nicely wrapped here. Wasn't able to film it immediately, so I've kept it in the refrigerator. So, uh, what does this say? So here's here's the tag. The tag says this kit contains cultures that need to be kept in temperatures between uh, plus two Celsius and plus six Celsius. So, <laughs> one point eight times the Celsius plus thirty two will give you the Fahrenheit. If any of you guys are on that system, okay. So very cute again. You have your little cashew bear bag which you could totally use um, outside of this. So, um, okay. So this one is, so the three big ones, this is Vzyme. With this bacterial enzyme, you can curdle plant-based milks like cashews or almonds. Add half a teaspoon up to one tablespoon of enzyme per one liter of plant milk. Do not use on low protein milks. So I almost feel like they're saying you should probably make homemade uh, homemade nut milks. Because the ones that you get at the store, like you get like two almonds per like, you know, the whole carton of uh, almond milk. So if you are able to put more nuts in there, get it to be like a richer formula, um, it's gonna be easier to get that kind of stuff to curdle. 
essentially you're working with the protein. So uh, there's there's the V-zyme. He's gonna take everything out, hold on. This is cute. I'm nervous, I don't wanna get anything dirty because I don't want, um, I have to sanitize the whole thing. The recipes can be downloaded at, so th they also have, um, on their site, some uh, like a, rest, a free downloadable uh, recipe section. So that's that's what they talk about here, so that you know how to make your uh, nut cheeses. Um, what else is here? This is quite cool. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here. So what do I have? Um, uh, okay, so here is a majority of I think the rest of the the material. Sorry, I don't want to flip that over too much. Um, okay, so what we have here, uh, this is the penicillium candidum. Um, I know that that is for something, one of the cheeses. Uh, this is the blue cheese standard, so the pen uh, penicillium roqueforti, and that's, that's that right there. Um, both of these, both of these two are liquids, and then you have this one, which is the mesophilic starter culture. I feel like this one's like more of like a for like a general cheese, whereas the other ones, I think one was for camembert, one was for uh, blue cheese, and then this is kind of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about, honestly. Whatever, uh, we'll find this out later. Uh, so this is the mesophilic starter, and this one comes in uh, two tubes. It comes in powder form, so. This is the one that they recommend you freeze. Put those out, but I do want to get them back into the refrigerator. Maybe I should not expose them to light. I do want to get them back into the refrigerator fairly quickly, so I need to go quicker. Um, so on inside, inside the camembert uh, wheel, it says, um, you just acquired live cultures for vegan cheese making. The cultures are not refrigerated during shipment, so see label for storage instructions. Use about one eighth of a teaspoon of culture for every 300 to 600 grams of dry nuts. So definitely measure your amounts. If you have any questions, you can always contact us. So they were actually really nice when I, oh no, don't take the sticker off. When I was contacting them to see if I could get one of these guys sent over, they were always super helpful. They were like, oh yeah, like check this site out, like check our Facebook page for like different recipes and different forms on, you know. Okay, so those are those are our starters. Uh, contains two cheese mats. So these, I'm guessing, are the cheese mats. Um, I, did, I did watch a couple of videos before on how to make these actual like vegan, um, fermented cheeses. So uh, the cheeses seem to start off fairly wet. And so you do have to like, you, you like have to turn them and you have to keep them quite aerated. I'm kind of nervous about it because like I, <laughs> I feel like um, when you're making these like fermented things in, in a countryside, that's like super cool. And you get like the bacteria from, you know, the forest and the grass and that's great. Uh, but I live in pretty much central London. So I'm, I'm always like nervous that it's going to get all like, you know, gross and whatever. But two cheese mats, two cheese cloths. So I think these are gonna be your standard. Yeah, so there's two, two here. There you go, two. <laughs> Uh, these are your standard cheesecloths, but unlike the muslin ones, the, the muslin ones are super thin. These ones are actually quite thick and they have the finished edges, so it seems like you can use this for, for cheeses over and over again. Like it has a nice thickness to it. So that's cool. Cheesecloths, um, mats, two forms of camembert, blah, 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 blah. 25 sheets of camembert paper, so. Um, let's see, this one is labeled. Ripening wrap 40 sheets for use on mold ripen rind cheeses during maturation. Okay. Wrap loosely. Keep the cheese between seven degrees and 14 degrees um, uh, Celsius. So I don't wanna take these out right now because I honestly, I don't know if I completely sanitized this table and I feel like I should have, but um, you can kind of see through the wrap and it's really cute because there's um uh, little like cheese image prints on the wrap what I, what i imagine is it is a little bit just like parchment paper but again i, I don't want to open it and 
get it all gross and then wrap it around my cheese potentially. Uh, and then the camembert paper, wait, what's the difference? Okay, there's the ripening sheets and then there is the camembert paper, 25 sheets, protect from light and heat for use uh, on mold ripened rind cheeses. Again, um, use on mold, mold ripened rind cheeses. I'm guessing, I'm guessing they're different. So, uh, but it does, it just feels like paper. So you get 40 sheets of these, uh, 25 sheets of that specifically for camembert. Um, and then these two things, what are these? Two forms of camembert. That's what it, they call it, without, without press lid. I think this is gonna be for the camembert because it, it fits into this. So I'm guessing you, you will wrap up the cheese in the cheesecloth initially and it'll be very like wet and whatever and then you put it in here and it kind of drains out and and gets harder and harder um you might have to put a weight on it yeah so i think that's two forms oh two camembert forms two camembert molds is what they mean okay cool um, and then and then two uh, blue cheese forms, two blue cheese um, molds. But I guess you don't want to use molds too often because you're talking about like kind of like molds and starters before. So yeah, these are two of the, for blue cheese, um, for camembert. And yeah, th I think that's it. I want to get these guys back into the refrigerator ASAP because I'm not making them today. Uh, but wish me luck guys, I'm going to try to do a camembert, I'm gonna to try to at least do a blue cheese and a camembert, but uh, this process takes a really long time. I'd say like uh, up to a month and a half. So you have to like make it, you have to kind of like flip it, rotate it, dry it, all that jazz. And then afterwards you wrap it in like these papers and you actually age them. And um, like my worry is a lot of this is very kind of scientific, like you have to leave it in certain temperatures. So uh, I don't, I, I just don't know if I can get it like that precise, but hopefully I can kind of use the home and see like, okay, well, it's like 50 degrees here and 40 degrees here um, for later anyways. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, what else do you guys want to know? I'm going to put the link to them down below. This whole kit was 60 euro, but they do sell like just the cultures. Like if you don't need any of these and you think that you can, you know, like find a substitute for this online, they do sell, um, the, the starters um, by themselves. I think one was about 20 year. It was quite affordable, but this is pretty much the whole set that you need. And if you are somebody that wants to take your vegan cheese making to the next level, you know, and actually ferment your cheeses, then um, I think that this kit is pretty cool. So, uh, yep, yep, that's it for me now. I'm gonna put these guys back into the refrigerator. Wish me luck. Uh, if it all turns out well, you will see, uh, you will see a video or two, uh, like one and a half months to two months from now. So fingers crossed. Okay, I'll see you guys again next time, okay?